Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the last video tutorial, we are trying to understand CSS background properties. In the previous video tutorial, we discussed CSS background color property. Background color property is used to specify the background color for any HTML element. Let me go to the notepad. You can see here, I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written, title is set to CSS properties demo. I have already opened default.html in the Chrome, title is set to CSS properties demo and it has the background color white. Let me go to notepad. In the head section, I say opening style tag type equal to text or CSS. Then I say closing style tag. Then I tell to the browser, to the page, you have to apply the background color of hash 808080 semicolon. You can see here, I am using a hexadecimal color value, which is gray color. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the background color is applied to the entire web page. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss CSS background image property and CSS background repeat property. CSS background image property is used to specify the background image for any HTML element. Various values that we can assign are, we can assign the value none or we can assign a URL function having a image path or a image name. URL stands for uniform resource locator. Let me go to the notepad. In the body, I say background image colon URL bracket bracket semicolon. In between single quotations, I am going to give here the image name. I minimize the notepad. I minimize the word. I minimize the Chrome. Here I have an image pattern.jpg which is of 100 by 100. That means the width is 100, height is 100. I am going to copy this name pattern. Go to notepad. Here I paste .jpg, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the background image is set. It looks like pattern image has filled the entire page. When the image is of 100 and by 100, how can it fill this much area? Here the background image is getting repeated friends. By default, the background image repeats horizontally and vertically. Let me prove that. I go to the notepad. Here I am going to use the background dash repeat property this time. Background repeat property is used to specify how the background image to be repeated, whether the image to be repeated or not repeated. If it is repeated, whether it should repeat horizontally or vertically or it should repeat both direction. Let's see the demonstration. Here I say no repeat. This time I am controlling the repeating behavior. I am telling that no repeat. The image should not repeat. File, save, go to browser and refresh. That is the original image friends. 100 by 100 image. It is not repeating neither horizontally nor vertically. Now what I say here, instead of no repeat, the value I am going to assign is repeat x. Repeat x repeats the background image horizontally or in x direction. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the background image is repeating in a x direction or horizontally. Similarly, I say now here, no repeat. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Now the background image is not repeating. I say here, instead of no repeat, repeat y. File, save. This time the background is going to be repeated vertically in a Y direction. Go to browser and refresh. You can see that the background image is repeating vertically. Similarly, we can assign one more value that is just repeat. The repeat value repeats the background image horizontally as well as vertically. That is in X direction as well as Y direction. File, save, go to browser and refresh. That is the default behavior friends. Let me go to the notepad. In the body section, I am going to create one div element. Opening div, closing div. To that, I give an ID of div1. Here I say, locate any div which has an ID of div1. Apply width of 70%, height 
of 400 px background dash color white semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that a div is created which has a width of 70 percent height is 400 pixels the background color is set to white let me go to notepad i say here margin top and bottom margin should be 100 pixels left and right margin should be automatically calculated file save go to browser and refresh you can see top and bottom we have 100 pixel margin left and right is automatically calculated hence the div is displayed in the center of the browser window next what i do is i am going to use the background image property copy that paste down this time the background image is going to be applied to div 1 file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the background image is applied it is looking like uh, the div is invisible div is there actually let me apply some border and show you here i say border of 2px solid black semicolon file save go to browser and refresh there is the border here is the div guys instead of the pattern dot jpg i use another image so that we can understand clearly the another image i am going to use is top to down dot jpg i copy that go here i say top to down jpg file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the top to down jpg image is again repeating horizontally as well as vertically this is not going to be much more helpful let me go back and say here background repeat i copy that and say here no repeat so that we can see the original image file save go to browser and refresh this is the original image friends which is of 100 by 200 i think so now what i say here instead of no repeat i say repeat x file save go to browser and refresh that is the nice look right it looks like we have applied a gradient background color cyan to white top to down if i apply the border radius here i say border dash radius of 10 pixels semicolon or maybe 20 pixel file save go to browser and refresh that looks much more appealing I hope you guys are clearly understanding how you can apply the background image and how you can control the background repeat property, how it is useful to create appealing web elements, right? Similarly, I am going to use um, another image this time. I am going to use an image called as left to right image. I copy that, come here and paste here left to right dot jpg. I am going to remove this background repeat file save go to browser and refresh that is how it looks actually the image is repeating horizontally as well as vertically friends if i say here background repeat copy that paste here say no repeat control s go to browser and refresh that is the original image friends this time i say instead of repeat x i say repeat y file save go to browser and refresh that looks nice it looks like we have applied a gradient from left to right cyan to white we can create much more appealing div elements paragraphs which have a different gradient backgrounds right we can take help of background image and background repeat property to create much more appealing web pages friends i suggest you people to try experimenting with background image property background repeat property background color property for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get more information on css background properties also we discuss css gradients in detail in upcoming video tutorials for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial